Welcome to the Hardcast Duck Sealing Mastix course. Please click anywhere on the screen to begin. Hardcast has been making sealants since 1965, but it really all started with the DT5300 and 5400 two part adhesive and tape system. This is the system that gave Hardcast its name because when the product dried, it was noticeably as hard as a set cast. The Iron Grip 601 product became popular when it was formulated with new polymers which enabled ductwork to be sealed without the need to use any gypsum tapes. Being a water-based product also helped promote environmentally friendly sealants and to provide a safer work environment since there are no toxic fumes present when the material dries. Butyl rolled sealant further advanced the sealing technology by allowing the applicator to not have to wait for the water-based or solvent-based sealant to dry. And more recently, Hardcast VersaGrip 181 was developed with reinforced fibers, giving this material better tensile strength when it is completely dried. This product also employs water-based technology. Here's why building owners as well as occupants should be concerned with properly sealing their ductwork. Because it significantly improves HVAC system efficiency, provides energy savings for the building owner, and reduces energy bills for occupants. It helps in meeting code compliance because International Energy Conservation Code requires ducts to be sealed. It also increases your chances to receive energy agency rebates all while promoting contractor reputation for quality installation. These are hardcasts, different types of mastics. For those who prefer the water-based, non-reinforced variety, there's Iron Grip 601 and Flex Grip 550. For water-based reinforced, there's Versa Grip 181, Versa Grip 102, and Duck Seal 321. For solvent-based sealants, use SureGrip 404, and for spray applied, use Spray Seal or RS100. You would use Spray Seal on exterior duct surfaces, and the RS100 is used to seal interior duct surfaces using the Isaac Robotic Spray System. For non-reinforced water-based mastics, use these different sizes to accommodate any application. Iron Grip 601 and Flex Grip 550 are available in caulking tubes, 1 gallon buckets, and 5 gallon pails. Underwriters Laboratories is the governing body that dictates the testing required for duct sealing, and their criteria should be that no smoke developed and is flame retardant, that the ductwork meets and falls into one of seven different pressure classes, that the sealant has FDA approval. By having FDA approval, you will never have to be concerned about toxic gases of the sealant. That it passes various flexibility tests because the ductwork will expand or contract when the system cycles, and you will need a sealant that will remain flexible. These are major points of using hardcast water-based reinforced duct sealant. Please click the Advanced button when you are ready to proceed. This shows a picture of the VG181 duct sealant. In order to get the Underwriters Laboratory 181 AM approval for use on duckboard, you need a minimum of 18 mils wet, a layer of scrim, followed by another application of duct sealant at 18 mils wet. Metal ductwork does not require the scrim, but some mechanical engineers will specify its use for a more durable sealing system. Note that on the reinforced duct sealant you have two different ratings, UL 181 AM and UL 181 BM. AM is the duct board and BM refers to flex duct. These are the major points for using our solvent based duct sealant. Please note the lower application temperature as compared to water based mastics. Since this material is a solvent, it will have a lower application temperature. For water-based spray-applied mastics, these will have the same attributes as the water-based mastic, but the application method of spray versus brush, or caulk, is less than half the time. The quality is also much improved because you are putting a concentrated spray of the sealant at 1500 PSI right into the sheet metal duct joint, seam, or duct wall penetration. These are the major advantages of using either the brush, spray, or caulk-applied sealants. 
Underwriters Laboratory requires that the sealant pass five freeze-thaw cycles and is resistant to mold and mildew. You would apply at duct transverse joints, seams, and anywhere the duct wall is penetrated. Apply at the plume transverse joints and damper shafts. Brush and spray applied mastic provides a faster application at four bolt flanges and circular openings. Brush spray and caulk applied sealants are good for use on odd angles and difficult to reach areas. They are both UV and non-UV rated, both mildew resistant on the duct or in the bucket, and are consistently heavy for adequate coverage. Freeze and thaw stability should be a minimum of five cycles. Most duct leakage occurs at the connections to the registers, plumes, or branches and duct wall penetrations. Here's a look at the basic areas that would require application of mastics on T's, Y's, L's, boots, as well as on transverse and longitudinal joints. Have a look at the basic areas that would require mastic to be applied on an air handler. Please click the advance button when you are ready to proceed. Note that you can use either the mastic or the rolled sealant to seal flex duct. Here's some key points to remember prior to or when applying mastic. You should pay attention to the surface. The surface should be dry and not have any dirt, oil, or grease. Application temperature should be between 28 degrees to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. For brushed on applications, use a 2 inch wide chip brush and apply to the entire surface of the seam, joint, and fasteners. Caulk and tool the bead on interior seams. Apply at a thickness to ensure complete coverage with a minimum wet film thickness of 20 to 30 mils. Be sure to let it dry a minimum of 48 hours at 28 degrees Fahrenheit and rising. Solvent based dry time is reduced by 24 hours. Note the dry time difference between the solvent and water based sealants. These photographs summarize the previous slide on cleaning and applying duct sealant. Note the thickness of the sealant prevents it from dripping or pulling away from the application area. Again, click the advance button when ready to continue. This is the best way to contact Hardcast and to get information such as MSDS's product knowledge or data sheets on its products. You can also access who your manufacturer's representative is that covers your area. Thank you for your time.